Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. I'm Gary, one of the clinical audiologists and part of the ownership team here with Advanced Hearing Group in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is Earwax Removal Vlog number 59. Today, we're going to take a look in an ear that's full of dead skin, earwax, and some hair. This patient, like many of my patients, is definitely a Q-tipper, as we can see by this wax being pushed so far past the second bend of the ear canal. The ear itself is actually self-cleaning. There's really no need to stick a Q-tip this far in your ear. By pushing the Q-tip down further, all you're doing is pushing that dead skin wax and debris further down the ear canal. In one of our previous videos, we talked about how using the right tool for the job makes a huge difference. As you can see here, we're using a curette that is relatively straight, very uh, mild angle on it. But as we look up to the top left of the ear canal, we're going to see some earwax that it's very difficult to get to with a curette in this shape. As you can see right there. So what's going to happen is we're going to switch to a different tool, a curette with a more angled end. This will allow us to get in behind the earwax and pull it away from the ear canal wall. If you like these wax removal videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It helps out the YouTube algorithm and gets our content in front of more people. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.